July of 2022, the State Department of Natural Resources released a report that showed updated modeling based on a 7.5 earthquake on the Seattle Fault. And prior to that, our understanding was based on the Cascadia subduction zone modeling, which didn't show a lot of impact. I mean, there were some low-lying areas on Bainbridge that would be impacted by inundation, but certainly not to the extent of what we know from the 7.5 Seattle Fault modeling. And so in looking at that, we knew that we needed to get a better understanding of how that would impact certain neighborhoods on the island, and then really start educating the community because this isn't something that was really a known hazard for Bainbridge Island. So we started going through the process to become storm ready and tsunami ready. The Tsunami Ready program is a partner program with the National Weather Service, uh, NOAA, and it's really built to as a toolkit for our communities to ensure that their neighborhoods, cities, uh, are prepared to deal with tsunami hazards in their local area. Tsunami Ready has a, a lot of different requirements for cities or local jurisdictions to ensure that they have multiple ways to receive and send out alerts to their local communities, um, that their schools are prepared to deal with the tsunami hazards in their area, uh, and that there are public outreach and education efforts to educate the public about uh, tsunami hazards in their local area. Yeah, so the Seattle Fault, it runs obviously through the Seattle area. And uh, because of that, the, the impacts are much more localized in the greater Puget Sound area, as opposed to the Cascadia Fault, which is out in the Cascadia subduction zone off the Pacific coast. The Seattle Fault has much more significant impacts here in the central Puget Sound area, Seattle, Bainbridge Island, Kitsap County, uh, up and down the Puget Sound. So one of the, the real dangers from a, a Seattle Fault hazard is a tsunami that arrives very, very quickly. Seattle Fault, you're talking minutes before waves begin to arrive on our shores. As far as local impacts, you know, you're going to see uh, water receding and then coming in and inundating the local coastline. Rapid inundation, wiping out infrastructure, homes, businesses, etc. along our shorelines in the central Puget Sound area. We know that um, all of Washington's 3,000 miles of coastline are at risk for a tsunami. So we really encourage preparedness and awareness for uh, any kind of tsunami event that could happen. And our uh, inner coast is a big part of that. I've been thoroughly impressed with the preparation that Bainbridge Island has uh, put into the effort to become both storm ready and tsunami ready. And it's very clear that this, this is a community that genuinely cares about each other. Uh, and has done tremendous amounts of work to get their community prepared for all hazards, including tsunamis. One of the things that we really looked at is how we can leverage our current partnership between Bainbridge Prepares, the city, and the fire department. We have a number of resources. We have over 730 volunteers. We have around 45% of our neighborhoods have gone through the Map Your Neighborhood program. So we already have a very engaged community and it's made getting this information out that much easier because we have people that are already involved. And then we do have some neighborhoods that are in the inundation zone that haven't engaged with us previously. And so it's an opportunity for us to go out and reach these new neighborhoods and provide information on their risk and what they can do to be prepared. So going through the, the storm ready and the tsunami ready process has been a, a really great experience. We have incredible partners with the state and with the National Weather Service and going through you know, the planning process, developing maps and, and information for our community. I'm really looking forward to the new year and what that outreach looks like moving forward and doing what we can to continue to prepare Bainbridge Island.